This is a little, one of those, what are they, five and a half gallon tanks from Petco? Something like that, five gallon. And uh, I've got four of them. This one's been sitting vacant for a little bit. And I've been wanting to put together some different shrimp tanks. So what I did was fill this with water from that 40 gallon right there. And if that 40 gallon's full of red cherry shrimp, I think I just did a still or just a little little reel on it the other day. And uh, in the process, I just pulled the water out with a one liter measuring cup and put it in a two gallon bucket and filled the buckets a couple times and got the water over here. That's why it's got kind of a tannic color because there's lots of tannins in that water. And in the process, some shrimp just sort of hitchhike along in the in the liter container so I've got several in here and then I netted out a couple more like this big one uh, and what I'm going to do is keep an eye on these and the ones that don't show off real well real nice uh, dark red I'll pull out and I'll put them back in the other tank from whence they came so anyway uh, this sponge filter is pretty well seasoned the water is perfectly seasoned because it just came out of the tank that the shrimp came from uh, I put in some of this hornwort, and it's out of other tanks, so it's full of beneficial bacteria. And a couple of the uh, Amazon frog bits from another tank, that lots of beneficial bacteria. And I floated some of these Brachychiton popolneus, Kershaw bottle tree. Some of these dried sticks, they'll, they'll sink, and uh, afterwards they will, uh, they'll collect a biofilm on them. The shrimp will go for that and uh, some shredded banana leaves that have been sitting in another tank the shrimp like that they're already there um and then this indian almond leaf was also in the same tank as the the shredded banana leaves so that's uh the idea is to make this a little a little shrimp tank that i can readily harvest uh red cherry shrimp out of the next one i'm going to do a I got a 20 gallon over there that's all set ready to go. I'm gonna put blue dream shrimp in it, one next to it. I'm gonna see if I can get some orange shrimp to go in that one, orange or yellow, probably orange if I can find them. And uh, see if I can get uh, some good colonies of those going. So I thought I'd just share that with you. It's an easy project. The gravel comes out of that bag of pea gravel right there from one of the home centers. And I rinsed it, and apparently I didn't rinse it well enough because it was still a little, little cloudy when uh, I started filling. But it'll be all right. So I just thought I'd share that with you.